Hi Taurus, uh, back again with your monthly horoscope for October 2013. And I'm just looking at the build-up of energy, including uh, the karmic planets in your marital and uh, most important relationship sector this month. Saturn, the North Node, Venus and Mercury, all present there, indicating a lot of uh, focus in this area of your life. Now, I'm pleased to say that Saturn has passed over the <coughs> difficult conjunction. So what might have been a rather Cold War situation for some of you uh, is now passing. You do, however, still have the, the you know, just that very fresh transit of Mercury moving into this area too, indicating probably over the next seven days a need to go back over some of your past history with that person, of course, uh, uh, on about the 8th or 9th, when Saturn moves into conjunction with Saturn, maybe some serious discussions. Um, but you'll be focused, and uh, you need to demand the attention and focus of the other person if what you're trying to do is uh, clear the air on some, on some matter. So, Sun now in the 6th house, uh, that has a lot to do with your health. It's this time of the year when the Sun transits this area of the horoscope, which is the sign of Libra, the other sign of uh, Venus, your ruler. And this has to do more with um, how much energy you're expending in your work, how you're actually coping with your co-workers, and how your work, uh, your work practices, your work habits are impacting on your physical well-being. Uh, we see that too because uh, for some of you, the right angle from the sun to the midheaven to Jupiter shows excessive work practices, uh, obviously for some, uh, not enough return on investment. By that I mean you're probably expending a lot of energy uh, and not really getting the returns that you'd like. If you're in business, this could have to do with the money you're expending in your business. So it's very, very important, as I say to people, to uh, if you're having difficulty um, being profitable at this time, and a lot of people are, then you need to trade your way out of the situation rather than borrow your, borrow your way out. Because the sixth house sun does also indicate issues of debt, uh, loans, so on and so forth, along with the eighth house. But sixth house has more to do with uh, debt that you have, health issues that you may have, and also enemies that you may have. So that's something you need to look out for during uh, this uh, month. We see also a very, very quick uh, conjunction of the moon to the um, planet Mars in your fourth sector. Fourth sector has to do you, with your domestic situation. And, uh, you know, moon for you is the third ruler, third ruler of communication. It is, um, it is therefore obvious that uh, uh, the discussions can be heated, your reactions can be quick, uh, quicker than usual. I think, uh, so it's important again that I stress that you, you must take your time here. There's no rush to do things. And particularly, uh, what I'd say is wait till around the 4th or 5th when this conjunction of the, of, of the Moon and Mars has passed. Might be a decision you have to make on, your, on property matters or uh, related to some female in your family. Uh, just put things on hold. Um, Slow and steady wins the race, I say. And actually, I don't say that. That's, that's my quote of an old adage. You, you've heard of that, no doubt. But that applies here to you at this uh, point in time, Taurus. Let's look at some of the important transits here. We see the um, that sixth house that I'm talking about is very strongly activated in the first part of the month up until the 10th of October. Sun is in the right angle. To Pluto, it's in the opposition to Uranus, uh, that's on the 2nd and the 4th. So again, some hard aspects there that may be very telling on your work. You may not be able to work so easily with these influences. And uh, also that excessive Sun-Jupiter square on the 13th, again relating to your um, work. Jupiter in the 3rd house may have a lot to do with running around. It could, it could just be too much physical activity. You've maybe said yes to too many people. You've got too many projects or 
some deadlines that are not sitting well with you, you need to re, um, renegotiate that. Just uh, decompress the situation, take the pressure off what's, what's going on in your life right now. Venus moves to the 8th house on the 8th of October, 8-8-8, eight, 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 supposed to be lucky. This is a sexual and uh, deep emotional transit uh, where your ruling planet is moving after the 8th. So this is going to spend a little bit of time there, and obviously this is going to have uh, a lot to say about your sexual preferences, the way you're engaging yourself intimately, uh, but it also has a positive influence on your finances too. Now this may tie in with uh, having to make some adjustments with the people you live with and work with or are married to or in de facto with. But certainly if you can do that properly, then this could show a surplus of cash, surplus of income, and maybe even a better opportunity for you to negotiate uh, with your bank manager for better interest rate, better rates on your credit cards, that type of thing. That's what's indicated by uh, Venus being a ruling planet. It's lucky. It's very deep. It's also philosophical to some extent, but uh, that may have more of an impact uh, when it moves to the next sign, which uh, we'll get to next month, and I'll explain that to you in more depth. Really, really good opportunities around the 10th. The, the There's one difficult aspect there from Venus to Neptune. <clears throat> Neptune's in your 11th house, showing some confusion over friends, but uh, on balance, we see the, the, the sextile aspect of Jupiter and the Sun on the 10th. It's wonderful for your health, your well-being, great optimism there. Um, at the same time, we've got the, the that right angle that I mentioned on the 13th from the Sun to Jupiter. So, so there's the reverse aspect here happening. So I think if we balance that out, I, I would say that without being too excessive, uh, don't over-celebrate, but this can be some uh, very uh, good times ahead for you. A lot of fun, maybe some partying and uh, also shown on the 15th by the transit of Mars to the fifth house of entertainment, love affairs, and creativity. So most of the planets give you a bolster uh, in that department, so you should avail yourself of that, and uh, maybe lay low on the 15th and 16th, maybe to the 17th, when it comes to communications with uh, employers, that type of thing. I see some tough transits there for Mercury. Um, so after the 17th, however, Venus goes into an excellent aspect to Uranus. You need to strike while the iron's hot around those dates. I see some opportunity that could arise quickly. If you don't jump on it quickly enough, then you may lose the opportunity to to really uh, to, to, to get ahead at this time. We see the important eclipse there in the, in the uh, 12th house of your horoscope around the 19th, indicating some very, very powerful spiritual energies some dream energy, astral energy, all of these subtle, hidden <coughs> aspects of your nature need to be heeded. You could be getting some strong, clear messages about things, and you need to be switched on to that so that you can translate that. You can transpose that into the real world rather than that just being some airy-fairy stuff. Uh, the important thing here, and I, and I talk about this a lot to people, is to plug the spiritual component into the worldly life so that you can use both of these things in a, in a perfect balance. So that's happening uh, yeah, towards the latter part of the month, 19th. We've mentioned the transit of Mars on the uh, 20th. That's going to give you a bolster over the next month or so, probably for four to six weeks. Some strong uh, emotional, creative, uh, romantic energy. And uh, then we see Mercury moving to the marital sector on the 21st. So all of, all of these aspects, to my way of thinking, pardon me, have to do with, you know, connecting to other people, members of the uh, opposite sex, uh, to satisfy yourself. And there again on the 23rd, Sun moves into the uh, marital sector again with a fine aspect to Neptune on the 26th. So some of your ideals are going to become uh, more important to you rather than just treading water, I think you're going to try to make your dreams come true during this particular period. Uh, the final aspect of the month is Mars to Pluto on the 31st. Very, very powerful. So these last few days of the month are very physical for you. Use that exercise, uh, create, love, <laughs> eat, love, pray, <laughs> uh, 
have fun. Um, that's the that's that's the most important thing to enjoy your life. And it seems, Taurus, that that this month looks like it's headed that way. Look forward to your company next month. In the meantime, don't forget to stop in at. Uh, what I think is the best astrology site on the planet, astrology.com.au for your daily, monthly and uh, uh, more in-depth uh, yearly readings, free readings, psychic readings with our panel of hundreds of um, practitioners. They're available for you. Look forward to your company. Bye-bye.